I don't think most Americans understand that the Supreme Court is reactionary. Um, so when Teddy Roosevelt was running for president, he was the first person who ever appealed to the Catholic vote. He was like, I even want the Irish to vote for me because like the Irish were kind of persecuted when they came to the United States because they were Catholic. Um, at that time, everyone in the United States was Protestant, pretty much. I mean, not really, but pretty much. The United States general population though was white Protestants that came over from the Mayflower and um, the, and after the Mayflower, they really started populating the United States and they encouraged everyone to go west and it was called Manifest Desti Destiny. Um, all the people from the East Coast had this dream of going west, which was actually a terrible, terrible uh, experience to have. Like, uh, like when I talk about what the state of nature is, um, the state of nature is you with a gun in the forest finding out how difficult it is to find a freaking animal to shoot because there are no freaking animals. How are, th how are there no animals? Uh, that's that's kind of what the state of nature is like. You hope, hopefully we'll know how to bait them. Um, so um, the American people were encouraged to go out into the state of nature to conquer the West. And um, a lot of that had to do with like land grabs. Like the, if you've heard of the Sooners, uh, there's the Oklahoma Sooners, which is a college. Um, the Sooners were people that snuck out and they picked the best land sooner. They, they cheated. Um, but um, still, they made it all the way to Oklahoma. And that's when the real way people traveled west eventually was by uh, train. Before that, they, they had oxen and they had a wagon train and, and they didn't have refrigerators. And so they had a lot of dried meat. They had a lot of uh, like wheat, like dried wheat. Um, they had to find water that was clean, but water was cleaner back then. All right, so um, what I'm trying to say is um, when the Irish started coming here in mass, um, not everyone was super excited about it. And the Irish were like kind of treated like um, um, someone that isn't welcome, like Mexicans sometimes, um, like Mexican immigrants that don't speak English. I'm pretty sure there are people that treat them like they're not welcome because they don't speak English. But this was more uh, Irish people being treated like they're not welcome because they had an accent and it was like, oh, you're Irish. Um, because they were Catholic also. And everyone thought that Catholics were inferior intellectually because how in the world do you not understand um, that, the, that the Pope's not uh, uh, infallible? No one knows. So they, they, so they think you're stupid. Um, all right, so fast forward to the Kennedys, the first Catholic Irish president. Um, Americans had gotten to the point that they didn't care if you were Catholic anymore, or they, they cared a lot less. Some people still cared. Um, they were more <laughs> being racist towards black people back then, um, because there's always someone to hate. Uh, right now, I feel like, uh, who, who do we hate the most? Um, well, it used to be illegal immigrants, I think. Uh, that's how Americans were. Uh, they didn't, they weren't, they didn't like illegal Im immigrants coming here, but now it's like almost shifted to black people again. Like, like no one cared about black people, but they were all mad about illegal immigrants. And now Black Lives Matter has made like all these white people suddenly dislike black people again. And that's the real problem with Black Lives Matter. Anyways, so what I'm, what I'm trying to say is um, the Irish weren't included and now they've taken over everything. Uh, but they're not really, I mean, because um, two, two people are Catholic um, that are on the Supreme Court, Clarence Thomas and um, Sonia Sotomayor, and they're not white. So, um, um, so it's not just Irish, it's Catholic people. Like my family, we, on both sides say that we say that we're descended from Robert E. Lee and um, we think that's a good thing. Um, it's, it's hard to explain how um, we will clone someone who's the best person ever so that they'll lose because it's that important to have the right loser there. It's kind of like, um, like, would we clone me to get, uh, get me assassinated? I think we would. And, um, and I, I think I just kind of have to accept that. All right, so um, what I'm trying to say is um, Irish Catholic people fought um, to get their status in American society and they earned it. And um, they fought as a group because they were, they, they have relations and they have um, um, 
family relations and they have friends and they have very large families. The, the Irish Catholic family I grew up with, um, they have two, three, four. I guess they don't have that, that, that many family members. There are only four of them, four kids. But then, then so those four kids have a decent amount of kids, but not that many. Um, all right, so all I'm saying is it is part of the Irish Catholic values to have a lot of kids, and that's why Amy Coney Barrett has seven kids or some crap like that because she's from a good Irish Catholic family. And all I'm saying is, like, it, I understand that, that, like, what is good for you is to have lots of kids in, in, your, in your philosophy, and that's, that's a nice philosophy until you consider population problems and then you realize that like having seven children is a very serious problem like or, or one person having seven children is a serious problem like we need to change the tax system so that if you have seven children seven children you are never ever ever going to die with money like your children are going to be indebted like it's like oh your parents died oh now you're in debt <laughs> um I know that sounds crazy, but that's that's what I believe, is that we need to discourage people from having large families. I have zero children. Um, I feel like I'm looked down upon because I don't have children. Like I go to jail, what's wrong with this guy? Why doesn't he have children? Um, it's because I used condom and I was careful. But then like the psychopath has like, oh, I've got four. No, and it's like, it's like unbelievable these people have children, but I don't, but then I'm looked down upon when I go to court because I don't have children. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't have a job. No, I do have a job. I, I work a lot of hours on the internet. And uh, I, I, I don't think you appreciate that because you're like, oh, he's just a crazy person. No, I'm a smart person.